over the past few weeks, so much has gone on in the UK. And from what I've seen and heard by the government, it makes me wonder, have we been abandoned by them? Because we've got Keir Starmer, who is our Prime Minister, who was voted in big time. And it makes me wonder, and I did question this, I put a question on uh, X. Did people vote for Keir Starmer because they didn't want the Conservatives back in? Or any, they didn't have any trust in the other parties like the Liberals, UK Reform and all that? Or did they vote in Keir Starmer, the Labour Party, because they really did feel his, um, his agenda for what to do with the UK is good. I don't think that. Now, I'm going to be showing a video of I'm going to show you a video of a protest by concerned people, group of people, parents, aunts, uncles, mothers, fathers, grandparents. And the march was to show support for the three girls that had just died from a stabbing attack on the Monday and to protest about having open borders and all these illegal migrants coming into our country with no paperwork, no documentation at all and being housed in hotels, B&Bs, everywhere. Now that was just a short clip of the march that happened on the Wednesday after the stabbing of uh, actually it was there for eight young girls nine young girls sorry and two adults at a summer play scheme where they was having a day celebrating Taylor Swift right so this pro this march was put on for that and to literally say we need our borders shut we cannot have open borders now yes there was some shoving and pushing and whatever but they don't show you exactly the full story of it 
the only way you get full story of it is if you go to an independent YouTuber who was there filming it. And uh, peace pants is needed. Um, well, that's not for me to decide, is it? I'm just here doing yeah, my job. What do you feel about the public's perception of the police that you can't keep us safe? Again, I'm just here doing my job. Right. Now, I do feel sorry for these police officers because they are just being given orders. Right? They are being given orders by people above them and their people above them are being given orders by people above them. So on, right up until you reach the door of number 10. Right? So, this was just a peaceful march. But because they stopped them and then corralled them into certain areas, people was getting angry. I I mean, your, but your job is to keep us safe. I'm not going to get drawn into the conversation, okay? No comment from the officers, but it's calmed down a bit now from what it was a couple of 20 minutes ago. Go. But I've seen people getting arrested so they can make arrests to the public. But when people are getting murdered and stabbed in our streets in broad daylight, they're unable to do their job. And that's why people here today are so angry. There's pain in people's voices. You've got fathers and mothers here. People of all the ages are here today. Oh. Wow, so about 10 officers, 10 officers are uh, touching this guy, unnecessarily 10 guys. This is what mainstream media will not show you. You will not see none of this on mainstream media news. You won't. Every time, even after this peaceful, apparently, yes, we did have some pushing and shoving and some words being said, right? But then it all calmed down. And those people needing the toilet. There's people who just wanted to go home. There was people who were just caught up in all of this on the way home. I think that's going to raise tensions. Or, I don't necessarily agree with that. I'm just saying that corralling people in when they want to go home, they've made their protests quietly, now they want to go home and they're being corralled in. I think that that's going to create more tension. So some people are trying to leave at the minute and they can't leave? Oh, get out! Wow. Right, so the police are locking these guys in. Have you tried to leave yourself as well? Yes, we've just been up. We are several, several people, including this police officer, and we've been told we can't leave. Yeah, apparently we're the criminals, I think. How do you feel about that? I know I'm not a criminal. Yeah, but I think the police think we are. So. I actually think that we are beginning to live in Iran. I think the, 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 the government is no longer our government. They're meant to be the government of the people. And they're not. They're hiding things from us. They're, they're directing things. Not, they're, they're doing things behind our back that they're not telling us about. Yeah. And tomorrow I'm sure the headlines will say that everyone here is a thug and part of the EDL. Absolutely. And I definitely know I'm not. Yeah. I mean, luckily, the people are behaving themselves. But this is, I think they're doing it to incite people. It creates pressure, yeah. I think that's exactly yeah. what they're doing. Yeah. We're just here to make our voice known. You know, we're peacefully processed. And we don't agree with any violence here at all. Absolutely nothing. We just want to raise our voice about our concerns, what's going on in this country, and we need to do something about it. I'm up, I'm so upset with these two, with these three children who have died. Wait, and Keir Starmer up there, he's the one who's done this to this country. He's this country. He's bringing all the immigrants in here, Muslims, whatever. He's protecting them. What about the police? Should they be protecting the people?
Alright, so they corralled them all in. And over the night, they would send groups of police officers in and just arrest anyone, as we will see in a minute. What was that all about? I have no idea why they arrested me. Yeah, so they So this helicopter above, I think, is giving messages to the police about who's done what. And it's just referring back to all these officers. I think that's what they're waiting for. It's like a VAR in this scenario, picking out the ones who caused any trouble, which is nonsense. These are innocent people. And I think the general feeling about people is just sadness now. It's not really so much anger and aggression. It's more just sad and shocked at how the police have treated the British public. I mean, the whole argument for most people coming here today was against the police. And this is just another reason to dislike and distrust the police. We even have police officers laughing and joking around. I don't even know what the, what's there to smile about. So more police officers are coming in, getting this man for no reason. Got another one, got this guy, don't know why. Look at the police, wow. Might look at myself for because I want to go fucking now. Unbelievable. Look at these guys. Call themselves protecting the public. Oh, number two, here we go. Who's this guy after? Next one. Officer, when can we go home? What are you doing? Look at, look at this guy. Look at these. Look at them. Look at this. Just the other day, these guys were running away. Look at them now. Picking a, they can arrest people here, but they can't do it in other cities. Only in London, the police work. They can arrest British people. And that's how it went. Right up until they arrested that YouTuber. They were sending in groups of police. And was overheard on one YouTuber. Just arrest anyone. They didn't care whether you spoken out to them, said something to them, or not said something to them. If you was just there, they was arresting you. Over one hundred arrests were made that. Note. One. Earlier on in the evening, people wanted to go home. They'd been and done, said what they had to do, made their protest. They wanted to go home, but they weren't allowed to. Now, I'm going to show you another video. Now I'm going to show you a video of a protest in Birmingham where a large group of Muslims attended and they was carrying weapons, everything. They, was, they attacked people, they was going after cars, you name it, they was doing it. But where were the police there? No. But if that had been a group of parents, concerned parents and aunts, uncles, and grandparents, I can guarantee you there could be three rows of police, armed police, riot police, and horses, even dogs, would have been there. This was where they attacked a guy who was sitting in the beer garden. Garden. They was going around looking for anyone they can attack, and they did.
So, do you feel abandoned by the government? Well, I can't say I feel abandoned by him, because I live in Scotland, and our government is not Labour. But they know better, believe it or not, they know better. And police people are blaming this on Brexit. No, this has got nothing to do, well, it has got something to do with Brexit, in my opinion. In my opinion, the thing is, when we left the EU, right, who had governed our country for so many years, told us how to spend our money, where to spend our money, you know what I mean? Made all the laws, any laws we wanted, we had to put in front of them in Brussels, right? So we didn't have a say in what was going on in our country. Those over in Brussels did. So then when we left the e uh, Brexit, when we left the EU, we didn't have a government at all that knew how to run the country. Because it's always been run by someone else in Brussels. All right? We didn't have a government who knew how to deal with these problems. We had a government that would pander to uh, the migrants, the illegal migrants. <coughs> we had a police force that was being told, oh no, we can't, have, no, 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 we won't arrest them. Oh no, they're afraid of being called a racist. No, I'm sorry, we need a government that is going to stand up to everyone, not just the Muslims, to everyone. Oh, oh yeah, we have, yeah, we have. We have got a government that stands up to us. We've had over a thousand arrested. And out of those thousands, uh, so many, out of that thousand, we've had like something like 500 or whatever sentenced. Out of that 500, I believe there's a token two Muslim men who have been sentenced. Two. Now, I've just shown you a video where there's more than two. Why weren't they arrested? Why haven't they been arrested? Why haven't they been put up in front of the courts? We had a Labour MP who's now due to go to court, I believe, in October for what he said um, uh, at a rally, at a protest. You know what I mean? It's ridiculous. The police won't stand up to these protests. In fact, I saw a, um, a protesters, the, it's a protesters protesting against the everyday people, right? But none of our, our people were there, it's just them. And this guy turned up, he seemed a very intelligent guy, I don't know if he was a, I don't know what area he worked, but he seemed very intelligent. And they approached him. And he was trying to talk to them and explain why, his views and all this lot. And at one stage, the police officer stepped in and said, do you think... Don't you think we need to cut this now? Because there's a young lad here. He could be feeling a bit nervous, a bit anxious. So the woman who was videoing it turned around and said, don't you think you need to ask that lad? He is older, old enough to be asked. So the police woman said, do you feel you want to carry on with this? And this lad said, yeah. He had no problem being there. But this police woman was hovering over him because she didn't want them talking to these other lefties, as I call them. I call them lefties. But a lot of them are just students. Um, and all I've got to say to some of them is, wait till you leave college. Wait till you leave uni. And you've got to pay your own bills. And you can't get on the housing market. Because there's no houses to be bought. Uh, when your council tax goes up to pay for these illegal migrants coming in by boatfuls a day to be housed in hotels and everything. Wait till you start seeing these bills creep up. 
and then you want to wear the mummies going. And then think back to when you was protesting about all oh, refugees are welcome here. Well, if they're welcome here, then please house them yourselves. Let the taxpayers' money be spent on something that is going to help with the running of this country. Look, they're paying all this money to house these illegal refugees with no paperwork, we don't know what their past history is, nothing. And now they've turned around and said they're stopping uh, the cold, the winter payments, winter fuel payments to elderly people. That is people who aren't on credit pensions. People who've got their own private pensions and all that lot. They won't get this winter fuel. But they can house and pay for all these illegal immigrants. And you've got older people in these groups as well. And I'm saying, do you actually live in the town, town centres? Or do you live out in these nice little villages where you don't see this on a day-to-day -day basis? You've only come in because of the protest that's going on. And then you'll get in your car and drive off to your nice little house out in your little village somewhere. Are those the sort of people, that old, older people, that are turning up? Because it's ridiculous. Don't they realise they are paying through their pensions, their taxes that have been took off their pensions for these people to stay in these hotels? Then you've got them complaining, well, we only get £9 from it a week. I looked at that last night on my video. I'll put the link in the bottom of this one. Right? That... You got paid £9.40 summer if you had your meals given to you. If using somewhere, living somewhere where you had to cook your own meals and buy your own food, then you get £49 something a week. So the moment they're getting £9 a week, yeah, for what? What are you spending that like £9 on? Okay, you can buy yourself some snacks or some drinks for in your room but you're getting your meals daily there's a lot of people on the streets that aren't getting one meal a day so anyway i'm going to leave it at that let me know in the comments what you think do you feel abandoned do you feel like the government aren't there for us no more and what about the Conservatives? Will they? Should they not be opposing some of what Keir Starmer is doing? Should they not be like, hold on there, Keir Starmer. You can't do this. You can't arrest people just for making a comment on Facebook. You can't arrest people just be, for being a standby, by being a bystander. Oh, oh no. Nope. Not a dicky bird off them either. So, yes, I do feel left down. I've got family in England and I feel let down by this government. If I'd have voted, there's no way I'd have voted for Labour if I had voted. I'd have probably voted for Reform UK. People might say, oh, well, that's a wasted vote. I'd rather, if I'd have voted for him, it would have been a wasted vote. If I could vote for Conservatives, it would have been a wasted vote. Because him and the Conservatives, they don't do anything for us. Neither do the Liberals. They do they tell us what they tell us what they think we want to hear. And then when they get into power, oh, thank you, thank you, thank you. Right, let's do this. We're gonna abandon the uh deployment of refugees over to Rwanda. We're going to stop that. Straight away, first day in, they stopped that. Now, a guy put a video out the other day in Rwanda. He'd gone over there, paid for it by himself, him and his friend, videoing Rwanda. They found the place where these migrants were going to go and leave. A flipping lovely hotel. Lovely. And yet, Prime Minister, stop that. 
is stopping all these old boats containing a boat and whatever that those housing them on. He's stopping all that as well. So where's he going to put all these illegal immigrants? Well, I know there's plenty going out there saying all 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 um, migrants are welcome here. Get their names and addresses and get them to house them. Anyway, I'm going to leave it there and let me know what you feel. If you've liked what you're seeing and heard, please hit the like button, share this and if you haven't already, please go and subscribe.